And if you had a white man, you say he know how to treat us. If a black man is going to do this for you, then learn how to treat him, how to care for your husband. If he's being a husband, then you care for him. And he won't have no reason to look at somebody else. He's anxious to get home to the home that you provide. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. On the physical level, now you got to look at his mind. From you, he's supposed to get peace and quiet of mind. You're supposed to rest the poor man's head. How do you do that, sister, with no knowledge? Shalom, my people. I am Sigma Male Wolf, and this is Who's Out of Order. Now, on Who's Out of Order, what I do is I react to videos and news stories. Then I tell you who I think is out of order. All right, Farrakhan. All right, my man. How to treat a hardworking black man. Now, <clears throat> in listening to this, I thought about something. And, you know... I, I thought about guys that I've worked with in the past and how one guy, he told me that he likes to stay at work late because he doesn't like to go home to his wife. He knows that when he walks in the door, it's going to be some shit. So he would rather stay at work late, whether he's got work to do or not, just so he could try to avoid his wife. There's something wrong with that picture. There's something definitely wrong. Now, men were simple. All we want is peace, peace of mind. And when a man would rather be at work tackling a rough work day, when he'd rather be at work than to come home to you, that's an issue. And what it sounds to me is he's not, he, he probably doesn't feel appreciated. He probably doesn't feel like you love him. So instead, he'd rather stay at work and work instead of getting out of there and going home to his family. That's an issue to me. And I'm sure a lot of people really don't give a damn. I'm sure of it. But but those of you that are listening right now and you have a man that's working hard, hard to pay the bills and take care of you and the family. And if you feel that you need to start an argument, argument with him when, when he comes home, make you feel less than a man, if you think you're getting over that way, you're not. You're not. Just because he's not saying nothing now doesn't mean that this is not going to end badly. So watch your words. Watch your words. Just as much effort that you take in putting a man down, put that same effort into raising him up and see what happens. It's not too late. What do y'all think? Let me know. Be one.